Good morning. Today I'm going to share with you some interesting findings about two grasses that uh, you can easily grow in your garden here in Costa Rica. One of them is a uh, totally wild grass. It's called Cola de Venado. You can see how how uh, nice body it produces. It gets really thick, especially at the bottom. And uh, it is uh, it is said that the grass roots go really deep in the in the ground. And uh, when you cut the grass, the grass uh, will come back. But before it does, it gets rid of all the roots that uh, were needed to support the big pre previous plant. And so once it, uh, these roots uh, rot, they effectively fertilize and aerate uh, the land. So it is very special grass uh, that uh, makes big clumps under the ground, big root clumps, and every time you cut it, uh, you uh, make this big clump of roots become fertilizer for your land. So that's definitely a good one, and it can be done with any grass, uh, I believe. And then uh, interesting also, the, the stems themselves can, uh, are really good uh, as animal bedding and uh, primitive sort of rustic weaving projects and things like that. So when you see cola de venado, uh, now you know what it is about. The other grass uh, family plant uh, is actually sorghum, which I know lots of people are familiar with sorghum, but lots of people are not familiar with sorghum. And so I'm uh, gonna add it on all the grass, I mean, all these plants you see uh, behind me that's a sorghum that we planted here and uh, the seed actually comes from a friend uh, whose family traditionally plants sorghum uh, in Ometepe so greetings to Nicaragua Ometepe thank you uh, for the DNA and uh, you can see that they grow to really nice nice size plants the, the stems are like one inch or more thick and uh, they produce grain that can be fed to any animal really including humans uh, they are also valuable for the stems we are using them really mainly for feeding our rabbits uh, and uh, it is, uh, is there is a variety of sorghum that's actually called sweet sorghum that uh, uh, you can produce molasses from the juice that's how high uh, sugar content uh, the juice is all right and uh, both grasses I mentioned here the sorghum and the uh, cola de venado are perennial means uh, for example this one we keep constantly cutting off the, the biggest stalks and it just keeps regrowing and the same with the cola de venado so uh, these are uh, this Sunday gardening tips for you and thanks for watching.